couple of guitars I've had from this brand before I started this channel were a little bit disappointing and a little bit lacking, but they were acoustics. Um, and when I was doing some research for this particular brand, I found a lot of complaints. Uh, a lot of people saying how cheap they were, how disappointing they were. But these tended to be older um, reviews online, let's say around 2005. 2010, somewhere in there, and they all had different color headstocks. So what I'm thinking after getting this guitar, I'm quite impressed with this guitar actually. I think it's perhaps the nicest Strat copy all around that I've had for quite a while, and that includes a lot of the budget brands. And it is a Stag. Now, the bad reviews that I saw had very plain headstocks and just the word stag. This is their newer design. So I'm wondering if they've redesigned or upgraded their guitars. And I've seen a couple of recent reviews on these where people are saying good things about them, uh, including a couple of recent Amazon reviews where people raved about them. Um, what's good about it? Well, the first thing is the neck's really nice. It's a really nice flamed maple neck and the, the uh, fretboard and neck profile it feels really nice. It's not super slender, it's not super chunky either, but it's a nice C neck. Um, very easy to play, nice jumbo frets, nice block and lace. I like the black on black. I'm not a huge Strat fan, but I actually love the Strat sound. And since I've got this, I've been playing this a lot because I haven't played a Strat in a while. There's something about the, uh, the single coils give you more bite, more growl, um, you know, some tonal options that you don't get with double humbucker guitars. This one does have a humbucker in the bridge, but it's coil tappable. It's got the split here, which splits this coil. Typical five-way blade switch. On this guitar, you get two tones and a master volume, which you don't always get on S-style or Strat-style guitars. It does have the top-mounted jack, uh, like the fenders, uh, not, not on the side like some other, some other copies. Um, it's got a really nice uh, bridge with the single saddles as well. I like the black on black look, I just uh, think it's classy, and if I'm going to buy a strap, this would probably be my first choice, is a black strap with a black pickguard. Another thing about this I really like, and I've plugged it in right at this cheap Blackstar Fly 3 amp, right after other budget guitars. And immediately these pickups are brighter and more responsive than some of the other cheap brand pickups. I'm not saying that you don't want to mod this and you don't want to switch the pickups out. You still may want to. What I'm saying is that they're a little hotter than your usual um, budget pickups. Um, you know, if I turn this up, I'm not going to do it, but if I turn this up and put some distortion on it, Particularly when I switch between the pickup options, um, it's a lot closer to the Strat sound. Um, go through the middle one here.
know, I just find that the range uh, between the pickups uh, and the volume of the pickups is just slightly better than a lot of the budget strats that I've had over the last, let's say, couple of years since I've been doing this channel. Um, I don't get that many because, um, you know, strats, everybody makes this S-style guitar. You know, they're, they're hard to resell because they're just all over the place. So I'm very judicious in what I choose. I've got another one coming right after this video, so two in a row is kind of uh, odd. But I have to say, this is the Stag SE60 uh, BLK. This is the black, of course. So this is the Stag, or Stag. Uh, I think it's a Belgian company, or maybe it's Dutch, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they've been around a while. I think they've been around for you know over 25 years now. And I've come across their guitars a lot, and it's been really hit and miss for me. I used to get Stag acoustics quite a bit, and I got sick of them because uh, there's so many setup issues and not great resale on them either. And they they kind of got a reputation for being fairly cheap guitars. Um, I haven't seen them for a while. They haven't really been around that much. Uh, so when this one came available, I was a bit curious about it because I noticed they've changed their headstock uh, on these. Uh, what are some of the specs? I should give you some of the specs. Um, let me look at my spec sheet on this or my description that I wrote up. Should I sell it? Um, older. It's heavy. It's a solid older body with a roasted maple neck. It's satin, for those of you who like that, uh, satin naked feel. Uh, bound rosewood fretboard with block inlay, smothered pearl. A new bone nut, so it's not plastic. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, all the way bone. It's kind of that reconstructed uh, bone style ne uh, neck. Uh, nut, sorry. Uh, the chrome tuners are fairly standard. Nothing special there. Uh, nice black gloss finish. Again, it comes with the two single coils and the humbucker and the bridge with this, the coil split uh, function. Everything else is pretty standard uh, strat setup. Uh, but it's very competent. There's a look at the back with the bolt on plate. Not quite symmetrical, four bolts, which is becoming uh, sort of standard with these guitars. It's typical string trees there that people often replace with upgrades. I like the new headstock, um, it looks better than just having this stag on there uh, and they of course matched the color the black gloss on the headstock um, yeah these are really nice no protruding fret ends the, the, the neck the uh, fret dress is really nice and also I bend the notes and there's no sound and this is not the stag, the stag I remember um, I remember having to do a lot of work on the stags that I used to get I mean the the frets are really nicely dressed on this, and I have to say, I think they've, uh, from, from this specimen, I think they've uh, improved their uh, their operations, and this is actually a really nice guitar. Um, no, it does not equal my American-made uh, 79 Strat, but I would say that it's probably as good as any Squire Strat that I've played, maybe even better. Um, and I'm not talking about the Vintmod series I'm talking about, your affinities and your bullets and that kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't been able to uh, play a Vint on Strat lately, so those might be better. But this is really surprisingly decent and fun to play. Uh, you're not getting the full experience with just my little amp and noodling. Uh, but uh, should you have an opportunity to grab one of these, I think they sell for around 200 uh, And you can get them as low as 150 75 um, if you kind of watch the, uh, the listings uh, and I think you know from playing a lot of budget uh, instruments lately uh, you know the sort of 100 hundred dollar tele strap stuff that's available on Amazon and other places I have to say that this one stands out which was a bit surprising uh, so yeah just wanted to report that uh, the one bad thing is it does have a standard um, tremolo uh, and it didn't come with a, a tremolo on but I think it's just you know a buck standard one I could probably find one somewhere uh, in my 
parts drawer that'll fit this. Uh, that's the only thing, but uh, it's pretty much locked anyway. Uh, there's not really any movement on that, so it's more like a stock tailpiece. Uh, I think if you take the back off, there's probably all five springs in there, and you know, so you probably have to set set it up if you want to use the tremolo. Um, but other than that, it's actually really impressive, and um, I'm glad to sort of report a return to stag as a better experience than I've had in the past. So there you go, black on black. All right. See you on the next one.